That's a risky. <laughs> It's so the, the whole, remember, uh, I don't know if you remember, but I've, I brought this up on the podcast before and I don't know if it's true. I hear it. No, uh, you got, we didn't have a, de- a debunking website or whatever, but um, the uh, saying that the entire population of the world, whatever it is, 7 billion or something can all fit in Texas or Alaska in their own house. Remember that? I think if you stuffed everybody yeah. together like a yeah. favela. Totally. No, no, totally, yeah. right? Yeah. It would have to be that, yeah. that way, right? And then the rest of it's farmland. But, but even, even, even if it wasn't Texas, it has to be the whole United States. Like you could fit the whole population. Of the world. Of the world in the United States. They're right. saying you could fit them in Texas or Alaska. That's what they're saying. Yeah, Nobody's but, debunked that. To, and I, I don't know. No, but, they probably could fit them physically. The problem is where are you no, going to no, get I'm all not the saying, food? I'm not saying, I'm not saying, hey, let's, let's all move them to Alaska. This is just all. Oh, here it is. Standing shoulder to shoulder, the entire world's population could fit within 500 square miles. Of Los Angeles. Of Los Angeles. What? Okay, so shoulder think about that. So if that's true, so it must be true, right? right? If that's true, even if let's just say that's off. and it's, That's only it's LA. The, the whole United States. I know it's only LA, right? If that's true, okay, there ain't nobody on this motherfucker, dude. That would mean if we got everybody in Alaska or everybody in Texas and the whole world was empty, right? all of South America, okay. Asia, Russia, to me, that means this overpopulation bullshit is a fucking myth, man. But wait that's a minute, a that doesn't make any sense because what they're saying in this Los Angeles thing is people stand shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, I'm you just saying if that's like true, that. if that's no, no, I'm not saying to live that way. I'm just saying if you can do that, if you could fit the whole population, then just you by think size, there's plenty of room for everybody, dude. Right. Back in the when I first started flying and uh, teaching seminars all over the world, I would always just look out the plane and go. All I see is just nobody. I see a city way over there, city way over there, and go, it's empty. I go, we should all have a plot of land. (laughs) That's what I'd be thinking. I go, there's so much wasteland. When you fly across the United States, dude, there's only people in L.A., New York, Miami, and San Francisco. Everything else is empty, dude. You're on a plane. There's nobody. There's nobody here. So I don't want. To, so when people talk about climate change, well, we're we're causing climate change or overpopulation, and then you got Elon Musk saying that's the one thing. I'm like, damn, Elon Musk is saying that. He's saying that overpopulation is a myth. It's actually the reverse. I'm like, whoa. So I don't want to hear anything about an overfucking population. Oh, it's it's it seems overpopulated when you're in a city and you're living in a favela and they got you all crammed into a city, super smart cities and all that shit. Yeah, it's overpopulated, but the rest of the world's empty. It's fucking empty.